In this problem, we want to find the transient response to the force that is shown in the figure. We have a mass spring damp system and the force can be expressed in a piecewise function as follows. From time greater than zero and less than capital T, we have just a constant for F sub zero. For t greater than t and less than 2t, we have a ramp force. And then we have a constant for equals to 2f sub 0 from t greater than 2t and less than 3t. And then we have a ramp of the same slope, negative f sub 0 over t plus f 5f sub 0 for the period of time 3 capital T and less than 5 capital T. And then for t greater than 5t, the function is equals to 0. Now, let's recall the responses for an impulse, for a step, and a ramp. We cover that in our theory, and we can look up our formula sheet to get all those equations for impulse, for a step, and for a ramp function. So this is the formula sheet that we covered in the theory. For impulse, this will be the response. For a unit step, this will be the response. And for a unit run, this will be the response for a damp system. So let me copy those formulas. And then we have the response for a step and a ramp, that is, this function is composed by steps and ramps. Therefore, we will use those responses. And the superposition method. So let me copy back this force. Now, let me make this force equals to functions which answer we know, steps and ramps in this case. So as you see here, for t less than capital T and greater than zero, we have, this is just a step function, but that step function goes to infinity. That's the answer that we know. So we will use this response g sub t, and then the response for that period of time will be f sub 0, which is the magnitude of the step, times the response of the unit step function. Now, for time greater than capital T and less than 2 capital T, we have to add the ramp that is shown. So what we are going to do is add a ramp to my function, and therefore I will add the ramp to the response. So for this period of time, the response will be equal to the same step function plus a ramp. However, that ramp has an offset because it does not start at zero, but it starts at capital T. Therefore, I have to write that the response will be R as a function of t minus capital T. And that is what I'm going to substitute when I use my equation for the ramp and the response for the ramp. Now, let's analyze the third period of time. We have to take out that area that we have all in excess compared to the original function. Therefore, what I'm going to do is I have exactly the same two functions as the previous period, but I will subtract a ram to take into consideration that excess area that I have. So that will be negative, the same slope, but now the ramp will start at 2t. And that will take rid of that slope. And I am now getting the same function as the original function. If we analyze the next period of time from t, 3t to 5t, we have to take that area that I drawing in 
yellow. And here we have the three same functions as before. But what do I have to do to subtract that extra area? I will take another ramp out. So I will subtract another ramp of the same slope, but this one starting at 3 capital D. So with that, I am getting exactly the same function, but that function continues with those four functions that I have. So I have to take again for t greater than 5 capital T, I have to take that extra area out. So I will copy exactly the same four functions, but now I have to add a ramp that will take that area out. So I will add a ramp and those two areas will cancel out and that will give me zero as the function and therefore I will have the correct response to the function. So I have f sub t r and this ramp has an offset of 5 cap capital T. With those responses I have the complete response to my system as the same thing that my function was a piecewise function, my response will also be a piecewise function.